Chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. Jump. Got it. Okay. Back to the base, quick. Don't stop for anything. <laughs>Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we're going to make ourselves an animal pin. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this. So, we are just, we need to build up a little bit more mass uh, to do that. And then the rest of the stuff is easy peasy. Um, let's see, I'm cooking some stuff up on the stove. Uh, we got some soup. I'm doing another jam um, and some liver and onions. Uh, so, let's put the soup in there. Um, no, sorry, in here. We'll put the soup in there, and you know what? Actually, let's do another liver and onions, too. So we'll grab some more onions there and another liver and get that cooking up. We do need to look at also making our baking pan at some point, but, oh my God, this is expensive, man. Eight freaking ingots and 1,200 power and nine adhesive and 40 zinc yeah that's really expensive we'll make it though we will we'll get her done we will get her done okay well i think while we're waiting for the mass to build up let's go ahead and um uh go out and just do a, a quick little mini gathering session so let's see how's our power doing we have 214 coming in and 101 going out if I uh, if I turn this one off, I'm trying to conserve biofuel, we still have a little bit more coming in going out. So, and we have enough power already to do this, right? Yeah, we only need 450. Okay, so we just have to wait for that mass to build up. All right, so we're making a couple of liver and onions there. Let's top off our fire. Uh, I did hit a couple of lock crates, and we were also attacked by Charlie. Here is the footage for that. Okay, um, can we, let's let this drop down just a little bit more and then we should be able to eat a soup and deliver an onions. All right, let's just do a quick loot run. In fact, you know what we need? We need a chicken. Um, so we're going to see if we can catch a live one. I mean, I don't know, about 30% of the time, maybe even more than that. When you shoot one, it's still alive too. I don't know if catching one means it'll stay alive a little longer in your inventory as opposed to shooting it. I mean, it would kind of make sense that that would be the case, but I'm not sure. I've never really paid attention to that. But it's time for us to rear some chickens. So we're going to get eggs from doing that. We're going to get better meat, and we're going to, I think if we level the chicken all the way up, if I understand, we get a pristine feather. We're supposed to, I, from my understanding, we're supposed to also be able to get those from Eagle's Nest too, but I think we need uh, the climbing tools climbing picks in order to do that because I've seen some eagles nests up in the mountains but they're not in a place that I can just walk up and you know grab whatever's inside of them uh, or maybe even if we kill an eagle or something we get it from that I'm not sure I wouldn't mind killing those bastards man they are thieves in this game wouldn't do it in real life of course 
uh, super illegal and not nice and all that. But in this game, uh, yeah, I would have no problem whatsoever killing an eagle. Oh, shit. Uh, that is a level one. Let's take him out. So, you know, if I were to take this, if I were, were to do every, pretty much everything that you can possibly do in this series, we still have a long ways to go because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be upgraded. Um, and I got to thinking about something else too. Um, I, you know, I talked about making the base cracker, um, but, and then destroying Charlie, but then I got to thinking, well, hell, why would I do that? Charlie's like freaking Walmart, man. <laughs> We wouldn't want to. We don't want to destroy them, um, because, yeah, we get all kinds of fat loots from those guys. So yeah, we're not gonna do that. Um, the lathe is super expensive. The only thing you can make with it is the base cracker, and an, an elevator. And I don't need an elevator. Um, so I don't. I don't see myself making that. And the other thing is, if we did want to make a base cracker, or an elevator. We just go raid Charlie and use their lathe, <laughs> you know? So I, I I don't see myself making the lathe. Maybe I'll change my mind. We'll see. Maybe we'll do it just for the hell of it. But I don't know. It seems for such an expensive piece of machinery, it seems very, very limited as to what you can actually do with it. So maybe Cold Games is planning on, you know, making it more useful later on. But it just doesn't seem worth it to me, especially if we can just go use Charlie's. So anyway, that's kind of what's in my mind at the moment. Now here's the thing, you know, even if we don't do every possible thing you can do in this series, I am planning, I've, I've mentioned this multiple times, I'm planning on, you know, a season two um, where we could maybe do stuff in season two that we didn't get done in season one, that sort of thing. Um, so we are not done with this game, not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just enjoying it too much. Um, okay, so anyway, let's uh, grab this ore. We'll do a little bit more looting. Do I have a lockpick on me? I do. Okay, good. We'll do a little bit more looting, and then we're going to go back. Uh, oh, we need to find a chicken. Yeah, that's what we're actually doing. <laughs> that's what we're doing out here right now. Uh, we're looking for a chicken. Uh, I need the feathers anyways, but we will see if we can actually catch a chicken alive. Um, and we're killing wolves pretty much just anyone we see damn near because... Uh, we got the ammo for it, and, you know, we're getting the fat and the hide and all the good stuff from them, so we can keep that biofuel going, especially when I have to run both generators. And, you know, anymore when I get a full stack of of the medicinal plants, then I turn that into biofuel too, uh, which is pretty much what most of that's from right there. Uh, okay. Medicinal fuel is very, uh, I mean, I mean, plants rather, are very useful. You need them for the tonics you need them for tomato soup you need them for biofuel so they are very useful but they're also super common too i don't usually plant them now unless i have nothing else to plant because you know i end up with full stacks of them uh okay anyway uh ooh, locked crate baby all right this is what i'm talking about <coughs> give us some ammo i need more plates too Look at that. Four more plates. That's exactly what we need to upgrade our last foundation. Fan friggin' fantastic, man. Uh, we didn't get any ammo out of there, but four plates is worth the price of admission right there. Plus, we got, you know, some adhesive. We got five sinew. Yeah, this was uh, not a bad crate. I'll take it. I will take it. Now we need to make more lockpicks. Oh, uh, chicken. Okay. So, my understanding is what we're supposed to do is jump in it supposedly causes the chicken to stop running. Yeah, it kind of looked that way, didn't it? Or was that just his first... Alright. Uh, we almost got him. <laughs> He's gonna run us into a fucking wolf. Oh, shit. Come on, chicken. Come here, chicken. Go away, wolf! Oh man, I hit the wrong button. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is intense. There we go. We got him. Okay. Let's just see if we can get away from the wolf. At least far enough away from him to then turn around and shoot him with the bow so I don't have to waste a shotgun shell. Oh, 
All right, he stopped chasing us. He is, ooh, he's a high level white wolf. He's a high level Geralt of Rivia. Die, sucker. You made us bleed. How rude. Okay, we got a chicken. Um, so I don't know how long he's gonna stay alive in my inventory, like I said. He is eh, he's got a little bit of a green bar left. Um, so let's kill this guy and then head back to the ranch. Love killing these dudes with the arrows. Save our bullets. Okay, let's head back. And um, make ourselves an animal pen and get this chicken inside. I'm not sure what we're supposed to feed them. I think we can feed them just about anything, right? I'm not sure. I guess we'll figure that one out. I mean, I've got plenty of, of carb types of food in the stove. But I'm not sure, like I said, if they require a specific type of food or specific sorts of food or you know if we can just feed them whatever anything that's uh you know plant based i'm sure feeding them meat's not gonna not gonna work <laughs> what kind of chicken would eat meat i don't think chickens eat meat not that i'm aware of anyways maybe they do i don't know <clears throat> And, oh, good. I'm trying to <coughs> gather as many rose hips as possible. Uh, moving forward, we, we will no longer eat raw rose hips or strawberries unless we absolutely have no choice. Uh, AKA need to make a slot in our inventory and we don't want to give anything else up kind of idea. Um, so that way, you know, we, we have them for the jams. The blueberries we can get any time of year, um, but the strawberries and the rose hips are only limited to certain seasons, so we want to uh, not eat them raw, so we can save them for... There's another chicken and another wolf. Oh, no, that's a pig. So with... I don't have room to catch another chicken, do I? Um, unless we eat these, which I don't mind because i got a ton of blueberries. So with the pigs, what I've been doing with them is if you hit them from far enough away, they'll run away. Then you just follow them until they stop, and you hit them again with your bow, mind you. So this is about conserving ammo. And just, you know, you got to hit them from reasonably far away. And then the third shot, at least with this bow, uh, they're down, and you didn't have to expend any shotgun shells, bullets, or anything. It works out really damn good. And I am saving... Oh, this was a level three, so it's going to take four hours. But I'd still rather expend four arrows than even one shotgun shell. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, he'll go down now. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, I'm saving up the pork because when the weather turns nice again, we are going to go uh, get some honey. And so I can make that big, nice, delicious pork dish. Okay, let's run down to the pond and wash our hands since we're close by. And loot that and this. Our chicken is still alive. Oh yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. I think you can only have one animal in a pen at a time. It's a pretty damn small chicken coop if you ask me. Unless I'm wrong about that. I don't know. We'll see when we make it. Okay, let's cut a hole in here and wash our hands. You do want to watch your axe in the wintertime because cutting ice uh, takes its durability down pretty quickly. Um, it's about the only thing that does. Well, unless you use it for, like, mining or something, which nobody would actually do that in their right mind. Unless it's very, very early game. Of course, you don't usually need ore in the very, very, very early game anyway. So, there you have it. Okay, that's my, my philosophy. Now, we have one more live chicken. Um... If we turn all of these into cordage, could we go catch that other chicken? Because it looks like the other one's staying fresh. Do we have time? We could find him. Let's see if we could catch him. He was over this way. If he runs off that way, we're not going to go after him because he'll run us right into the hunters. And, you know, I'm kind of just laying low with those guys for now. Uh, they are about due for us to raid him again, though. 
Uh, level two wolf. Sometimes I can kill level two wolves if I can get the last shot off like that. There you go. Doesn't happen all the time. It's very dangerous, but we made it work. Now we gotta go wash our hands again. All right, you know what? Let's not mess with that other chicken for now. Let's just, let's just work with the chicken that we have because one chicken in the hand is better than two in the, not in the hand. <laughs> okay, I get on. I kill me. Probably killing you guys now too. Okay, wash our hands. All right, let's head back to the base and get this coop put up. Now, what I'm gonna do with the coop is we're gonna remove a couple of the foundations in front of the house, and I'm going to put the pins right in front of the house. My understanding is you have to have these out in the open in order to use the free range option, which I don't even remember exactly what that does, but it's supposed to improve something about it. Um, so let's crouch down here and just kind of drop there. Is Huey, Louie, and dumb shit over there? Nope, they're not. They don't uh, do that as much as they used to, but every once in a while they'll still get derped out over there. Okay, let's see. What do we need to do first? So let's put our liver in there. Um, oh, uh, here, let's eat this. And then we'll put our liver in there. Um, or, you know what we could do is just turn that into another liver and onions. But here, put the potatoes in there and the rose hips. And the protein bars. We've got like 76 protein bars. It's amazing. Um, that can go in there. And that can go in there. We've got a bunch of fat. So let's split those up and get some biofuel going. Uh, we'll put the ores in here and the fragments. Oh, shit. Our chicken just died. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Last time I looked at him, he had a bunch. Oh, shit. What the hell? All right. We're going to go get another chicken now. Uh, let's get the place built first. Damn it, Jim. All right, so we have three pork chops stored up. I'm keeping one stack of raw meat so that we can do uh, steak and eggs when I loot eggs, but we'll be able to start doing that by raising them now. Uh, all right, let's get the rest of our shit put away first, and then we're going to go out and get another chicken. <laughs> Why did he die so fast, man? What the hell? Oh, yeah, we're going to go do our upgrade our last foundation with that, too. Um... Okay, so let's put this in here, put the nails in there, the feathers in there, and the bullet casings. I made a bunch more gunpowder, so we have two full stacks of gunpowder and then some. We're going to need the hammer for that upgrade. Um, why don't we... Why don't we make another antidote with this last liver? Or no, wait. No, 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 no. We were going to make some more steak and eggs. That's what we were going to do. Or steak and onion. <laughs> liver and onions. Dude. Liver and onions. Okay. <coughs> so let's put that one in there. Uh, we're not in too bad a shape. Can we take a soup? Oh, beautiful. And can we take this too? Look at that, man. We are just the epitome of health right now. I love it. Okay, we have a full stack of raw meat. I'll tell you what. We'll put that one in there. We're going to just burn these. Uh, we're going to burn all this stuff for the bio thing. Speaking of which, it's maxed out. Okay, i got a bunch of stuff to feed into... The bio Jenny. Um, pretty much everything you see here. All of this stuff is going into the bio Jenny. Uh, so let's do that. Not the bio Jenny, the recycler. What the hell am I talking about, man? Okay, so we have a hundred now. Let's just see what we have when it's all said and done. Okay, so that shoots us up to 155. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, now our power is really low. So we don't have enough power to make this. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Let's get these guys cranking. Um, and then, yeah, we got to... I, I guess we probably shouldn't go get a chicken until we have an actual uh, thing set up. I'm going to turn this off for now. And let's also just remove that from there from now. And you can go down there. We'll put this back here, that back there. We have our other steak and eggs, which we're going to... Oh, we need room for that. All right, you know what? We're going to burn... Here, let's grab this and burn that. And put the steak and eggs... Or the... I, I don't know why I keep calling steak and eggs. Liver. Dude, liver and onions. 
Okay, so we'll burn those. I know, I hate burning steak, but we... It's better than absolutely, you know, than letting it spoil because then it's not even worth as much. Not not to mention, or, or not to say spoiled meat isn't useful because it is. We need it to make our, our heat packs and stuff like that. So everything's useful in this game. Everything is useful. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's go upgrade our final foundation out here to a metal one. And we are getting tough, man. Getting tough out here. So even if these bastards break the walls down, they still aren't going to get past our foundations. Boom, baby. I don't know that I'll do that on this side, um, because I usually only get attacked from Alpha on this side, or occasionally Rogues. And they just, you know, they don't pack as much of a punch as Charlie and Beta, or Beta, Bravo do. So, um, yeah. Okay, cool. We got that done. Making progress, people. Making progress. So what we're going to do is uh, for our animal pins here uh, take these out and burn that and are you doing anything you're not okay is yes, we're gonna move a couple things around so let's go out here <clears throat> I'm going to move the stairs by pressing the end key not the delete key uh, over to here and then I'm going to we might end up doing like two animal pins, but let's start with this one. So we're going to press the end key, and I don't even really have a use for this at the moment. Maybe, hmm, what could we do with this? Is it, will it attach to here somehow? It doesn't. Oh. Um... <clears throat> I guess we could put it there. Well, no, because it's going to kind of be in the way. Oh, I know what I'm going to do with this. Let's put it up here so we can jump down on it from the rock. Oh, we got to got to be a little closer there, bud. A little closer, man. Press the end key, not the delete key. I have to constantly remind myself to do that. Okay, let's put it right there. Press end, not delete. And let's just pop it in right here. And then we can jump off the rock onto here and then drop off of here down below. That's still kind of a long drop, isn't it? But Well, not not unless unless we came like through here. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Looking good, man. Looking good. All right. We're going to grab that. So we're going to put the animal pin right down in here. It'll be still somewhat protected, you know, from with these walls here with those assholes, you know, lobbing nades and stuff in. So we're going to just pop it right in here. I guess it doesn't matter, you know, if it's winter or not as far as the animals go, I'm assuming. Um, okay, let's go back in and see where we're at. Grab the burned meat. I'm going to let this fuel get down just a little bit more, and then we're going to use Presto logs to get that back up. That does use a little bit of power. Okay, we have everything we need power and mass-wise, so we need boards, nails, scrap, and two rope. Uh, look at that, two rope. Okay, boards, scrap, and nails. And ladies and gentlemen, let's make ourselves our first animal pin. All right, here we go, baby. Here we go. Uh, okay, let's put all this stuff back in here for now. That can go in there, and this can go in here. We need to drink some water. Let's do it. How, uh, how's our crops doing? Oh, look at that. We got some tomatoes. Beautiful. We love tomatoes. All right, we have three slots available. What do I currently have for seeds? I've got tomatoes and onions. Let's replant those. And we don't have to turn this tomato into seeds at all. So look at that. It's beautiful. Stack and a half of tomatoes, man. What more could you ask for? I kid you not. Good stuff. Okay, let's grab our animal pin here. I don't know how big this thing is. I wonder if it would be possible to stick two in here. Hmm, I don't know. Well, let's just 
let's just do the one for now. Trying to make sure it's reasonably lined up. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we can only do one animal, and we have to put water in food. Rear animals up to level three. Upgrade. Go free range. Animals can roam around the housing and consume less food and water and allows them to reach level 10. Yeah, we can do that. Install feces tray. Catches the animal feces, which can then be used as fertilizer. Ooh, right. And then we then we, would, we could save all of our ash for gunpowder. Oh, I like that idea, man. Okay, none of that stuff is incredibly expensive. Uh, the two padded cloths are the most expensive thing here um, but we we can we can handle that yeah absolutely um, in fact we can do it right now why the hell not let's do it uh, okay what else do I need again so two ingots and two padded cloth two adhesive boards and scrap two ingots Two padded cloth, two adhesive, boards and scrap. Now we'll get this thing free ranging before we even put an animal in it. Boom, baby! All right, now this we could also do. Uh, we just need to wait for the power and mass to come back, but we probably will because I love the idea of being able to save my ash. Uh, well, I love the idea of saving my ass too, but uh, in this case, we're talking about ash for gunpowder. Okay. Uh, all right, let's um let's just top these off now. I know we, it could go longer, but we got to go catch ourselves a chicken. It's also getting dark out, which is not a good thing. Um how are we doing here? Can we eat one of these? Can we eat one of these? Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We got to find ourselves a chicken. We did see a chicken down here. Where the hell's that wolf at? He must be up on the other side of the fence there. Let's see if that one chicken is still around that was down here. Uh, like I said, though, we don't want to run him into the hunters because then they'll get irritated with us and come and knock on our fence. So I guess what we do is we raise the chicken till it's level 10 and then we slaughter it and get like a pristine feather and meat that we can make the chicken soup stuff with and then catch another chicken and wash, rinse, repeat. Is that how it works? As if you guys can answer me. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. All right, come on, chicken. Can't believe how quickly that chicken died. Maybe the green bar wasn't an indicator of oh shit we ran right into the, I'm not paying attention um an indicator of how long he's gonna live but just his health level do those guys see me looks like he all right well they're probably gonna attack us now but what else is new they're always attacking us anyway so screw them guys all right we gotta fight a chicken here I'm blabbing and not paying attention to where I'm going and I run right into alpha at least they didn't chase us. Thought I heard footsteps. Come on, chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. They know I'm after them now, so they're nowhere to be found. Oh, shit. We need to make more lockpicks, too. I always like to have two lockpicks on me these days. Unless I forget to make them. Uh, wolf. Sure, why not? He's only level one. Let's get our axe down here. It's getting dark, not good. It's gonna get cold. My 
you know what? We have to find a chicken. We are on a mission to find a chicken and nothing's going to stop us until we do. Not even a level three white wolf. We're just going to shoot his ass. Oh, son of a bitch. He infected us. Damn it, Jim. I should have did, did more rapid fire. The problem with that, though, is you start... Uh, you, you often fire one more time than you want to, and then it's waste ammo, but I guess that's probably... I'd rather waste one 9mm shell than get infected, right? Sorry about the darkness, guys. But we gotta find a chicken before we end this episode. That's just all there is to it. Finding a chicken and getting it back home alive is gonna be our crowning achievement of this episode. So it's really important that we get it done. Even if we have to be out at night in sub-zero weather to do it. Little bastards are around all the time when I'm not looking for them. And now, you know, we're looking for one. And guess what? <laughs> no chickens to be found. Of course. Well, let's pop a hole in the ice so we can at least wash our hands. Yeah, I figured that. That's got to be alpha, but... Let them do their worst. We'll fix it when we get back. All right, let's pop a hole in the ice. Oh, wait. Why do we give a shit about washing our hands? We're already infected anyway. Screw that. Let's save the durability on our axe. I will um, add some, some gamma to this uh, when I edit the video so it's a little bit lighter for you guys. Won't be ideal, but, you know... It is what it is. Here's a couple pieces of ore. We might as well grab this while we're here. We need to get our bow and our pistol repaired. So we got to remember to do that on the way home. Uh, I think I saw some rogues up on the hill up there, so we don't want to go that way. Looks like there's a chest up here, maybe? Tomato seed, nice. Take it. We'll take it. Level three wolf of some sort. Um, let's reload this. Oh, I guess we did. <coughs> well, let's just, let's just put a shotgun shell up his muzzle. No point in wasting even an arrow because we can one-shot him with this beast of a shotgun that we got. Love this thing. Looks like there might be some rogues up that way too, unless that's alpha. I don't think that's alpha. I think alpha's more that direction. So we will avoid them. Let's kind of go up around this way. Level one wolf and a level three. Well, if nothing else, we'll bring back a bunch of fat for uh, our biofuel. Um, I think we can get him with our pistola. We have four shots. We just got to make him count. Uh, that was not making them count. Well, that was a waste. We could have just done all of that with a freaking uh, single shotgun shell instead of wasting an arrow and four nine mils. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes, man. That's just the way it goes sometimes. All right, let's make a bandage. And we're going to start working our way back 
towards the base. It really is freaking dangerous for me to be out here right now with an infection. And uh, we'll just keep looking for a chicken while we're out and about. There is a crate there. It's kind of close to Alpha, but we're going to grab it anyway. Screw those guys. They've already attacked us anyways. Well, I'm assuming they have. Yeah, we got one 9mm bullet back. Let's load up the pistol. Oh, chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. Jump. Does that really work? I've seen no real direct ev evidence that that works, but maybe it does. I don't know. When it stops, I think it's just it's... Got it. Okay. Back to the base. Quick. Don't stop for anything. <laughs> well, we'll stop for a crate, but nothing else. Nothing else. we got to get this guy back and get him in the pen. I'm not even going to look and see how he's doing. Yeah, I think the green line indicates his health, not how long he will live in your inventory. I don't know if that's a random thing or if you have like five minutes to get him back or something like that. I'm not sure. But we are getting him back. Ooh, we're getting cold too. You know what? I can't afford to the health loss with this um with this infection. So we're gonna we're gonna burn a, a hot kit. A heat kit. Heat pad. So we're not losing health because of the cold. This would be a terrible time to die. Of course, any time is a terrible time to die, but especially right now. Grab some rose hips. Thank you very much. Rose hips mean jam that's worth 70 freaking carbs. I can't believe how many carbs we get out of it. It's just amazing. That's got to be the best carb food in the game, I'm guessing. All right, we'll check damage in that later. Let's get the chicken in the coop. There he is. Okay, he needs food and water. Um, all right, let's go get him some food and water. I'm going to take one of these, use. Grab a couple things of water and I don't know, let's let's give him an apple. Chickens like apples, don't they? Oh shit, there's a wolf over there. much a oh, one apple 13 oh okay so he stood up like he's good now um well that gives him a little water too interesting he just did something else oh is that just an animation thing that shows him moving around i think that's what that is yeah shouldn't we see him outside though Because it's on free range. Oh, there we go. Look at you, buddy. Don't get hit by a freaking uh, grenade when we're attacked, okay, man? So the free range, what's that do again? <coughs> it Animals can roam around the housing and consume less food and water. We like that. And allows them to reach level 10. That's amazing. Uh, wait, let's get this feces tray going, too. Uh, I like that idea. Watch out, chicken. I don't want to accidentally butcher you. We went to all kinds of trouble to get you, buddy. You know what? Let's just give him the rest of this apple. What the hell? Our rest of these apples. Nice. Okay. So, is the green bar now an indication of his level, or... I don't know. I still think seem to think that's probably his health bar. Is it possible to put another one in here now? It's because... Since it's on free... Oh, no, it says one of one. Okay. So I guess you can only have one animal per thing. All right. Um, well, let's wash ourselves off before we get reinfected. And we need to drink. Let's also make some tomato soup. We'll make a couple of those. And we'll make some liver and onions because that's what we like. Not so much in real life, but in this game, 
It's good stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll eat liver and onions in real life. I don't hate it, but it's not my first choice. Here, let's grab two livers. No. Two livers in my inventory. And four onions. There we go. Okay. Let's put stuff away here. Uh, so you go in there. Do we have any crop? Nope. All the crops are currently growing, and they do need water. Okay, so we'll put the tomato uh, seed down there. Rose hips can go in the stove. We got some more of this. I have a f I have two full stacks of, of raw meat, so we're just going to burn these for the bio. Eventually, what will happen is I'll have less cooked meat in here and more raw meat so we can use it in the stove. And in fact, you know what? Now that I think about it, let's actually pull two more stacks of that out and put those in. Because we're going to be able to start doing steak and eggs now. I don't know how often we we're going to get eggs from the chicken, but... Hopefully it's fairly frequently. Okay, let's see. We're going to put the matches in there because I've got fire starters in this one. Portage, all that stuff goes in there. Uh, nails and casings go in here. And I want to make four more bandages. I like to have a minimum of three on my inventory. And then we got a couple of you guys there. Uh, we need more nine bullets, so let's put those in that slot. We got eight of those. Yeah, we're doing yeah, we're doing fine on uh, ammunition otherwise. So let's eat one of these. Alright, let's go look at our chicken. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's getting healthier. Oh, okay. I see like a little red line above the green line. That's probably his level. That's my guess. Nifty. Okay, cool. Um, now, I want to do this upgrade too. So we need an ingot, a plate, two scrap, and two adhesive. Um, okay, so two scrap, two adhesive. And we're going to need this stuff, I think, for ingots and plates. An ingot and a plate. Okay, we'll get that going. That used up two of my scraps, so we'll put those back there. Put this here. You're not doing anything right now, right? Because... Yeah, you, we, we should be able to turn this back on. Um, let's keep working on our potassium there. And I'm going to turn you back on, too. Okay, so you're working on my liver and onions. We're going to put you in there. Let's take this extra liver because we're going to need room for the liver and onions. And let's make another antidote. Um, so I need five of these. There we go. All right. Pull the burn stuff out of there. I still, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I, I still cringe a little bit for burning steak, <laughs> but at some point, you know, you gotta, you gotta do something with it. <clears throat> and again, it's more valuable to us as burned meat fed into the mass recycler than it is as spoiled. So that's really what it boils down to. Okay. Um, so we're just waiting on... Uh, I think we just, one of our Jennies just turned off. Let's just keep them both running for the moment. At some point, I'll, I'll turn one of them off. Uh, let's see, you're working on fat, right? As are you. Okay, let's just let those run. And now, uh, if we grab this and this... I think we have everything for the fertilizer upgrade. Hmm. 
Boom. Look at that, man. <laughs> All right. This is awesome. So where does the fertilizer go? Oh, it'll probably end up down here. Okay, cool. How you doing, little buddy? We're going to name this guy the Colonel. You know, like KFC, Colonel. This is the Colonel. Even though the Colonel's probably a female. Actually, I hope the Colonel's a female because we need eggs. If I pick this chicken up, do I screw it up or does it just go in my inventory? And then can I put it back in here? Like, for example, what if a bear gets in here? Because occasionally animals do get in here. They just spawn in here. And they're attacking. Uh, seeing as how the chicken has a health bar, that would seem to indicate to me that it can take damage. Um, so let's pick him up. Okay, he's good. Or she's good. We can pick him up and, yeah, okay. There you go. And then I guess we have to turn... No, free range is back on. Oh, there there you are. Mrs. Colonel. All right, awesome. I like it, man. So what we might end up doing is uh, taking out this foundation and putting in... We could probably fit a total of three of those in there um, comfortably if we take this other foundation out. So I think I'm going to do that. Why not? Why the hell not, man? Let's do it. Uh, not in this episode, though, of course. I will probably just do that off camera because you've all... You've all seen how it works now. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, this was a very fun episode. We got uh, something really cool accomplished. Looking forward to seeing how Mrs. Colonel does. And we will probably get a couple more uh, companions for Mrs. Colonel, too. So I'll probably work on that all off camera. And um, then I will bring you back in the next episode for more crazy adventures. Stuff that's left to do in our playthrough I've already decided I'm not going to make the lathe. I just don't see the point in it. If we decide we do want a BCU, like, for example, at the very end of the series, maybe we will just go blow the shit out of Charlie and destroy their base. But we're going to use Charlie's lathe to make the base cracker. Because <laughs> that's just the way I roll. Um, and we're not going to make a lathe ourselves. So in terms of equipment, uh, is there anything else in here? I mean, I guess we could make a large storage unit. We could do that now because I got the crystal. We got to make ourselves a couch, you guys. Absolutely got to make ourselves a couch. So we're going to do that because that's fun. Um, you know, I could make some more solar panels and wind turbines uh, for, you know, more power generation. We could do that. Uh, but I think for the most part, we've made just about damn near everything. So it's really going to be more about upgrading or adding more of the same, in, like in the case of the solar panels and whatnot, uh, as we continue this series. But we're going to go for a while longer. Uh, we'll see how things go. And yeah, so guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.